What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to Tomodachi game, this time of episode 8. Really excited for today's episode as we'll be starting off the hide and seek game today. Uh, after we kind of set that up last episode, we had a really long 72 uh, kind of hour talk with Tenji um, from Yuichi's perspective uh, last episode, which was again really interesting seeing Shiho in this new light, which he could be a kind of potential villain going forward. Um, I, I kind of very much doubt it. It kind of seems in that whole story that um, Tenji and his friends were the ones most at fault for pretty much everything that happened. Of course, there could have been uh, kind of some kind of Shiho kind of shadow stuff going on but um again i, I very seriously doubt it considering uh, her backstory as well i uh, we haven't fully seen her backstory or why she got the uh, the plastic surgery but um i, I kind of think it's probably for a good reason and maybe that's why the boys um lent her so much money to maybe help her during that time um again lots of uh, what ifs and if and maybe so um look forward to seeing what actually kind of solidly concretely happened in the series um again we got introduced to a, a new bunch of uh, characters last episode who will be going up against in this in this uh, hide and seek and we also got introduced to a spy who's going to be on our side so i'm really interested to see how that kind of affects things so um yeah let me know what you guys thought about this one down in the comment section make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys did like this video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions also if you guys did want to help support further there is a patreon link down in the description but let's get right into the episode guys three two one let's go guys straight into the opening today not sure we um did we have an open ending last time out I can't quite remember. I feel like we didn't have one of one or the other. I'm pretty sure we didn't have the ending, did we? I think I remember that more because uh I love the ending song a lot. Uh... Yeah, this should be a very fun episode today, shouldn't it? Hide and seek. And again, I've got my suspicions about the guy who's uh what's it called? Hiding for the uh fight for the other group. I have a feeling that he might be the genius, just because you'd think the genius wouldn't be in that position, not doing anything, not having anything to do with the mind games, but I guess we'll get a bit of a clue when we see um Oh no, we did find out who would be waiting for the uh for the boys as well. Was it Yuichi, yeah, I think Yuichi's gonna be the one hiding. So again, maybe that gives it away a little bit. But yeah, she did mention that one of these boys is a genius. I have to keep that in mind. And again, I'm very excited to see what this spy is going to be about. Like, I mean, yeah, fair, all, all well and good. They're going to chuck a spy in to kind of spy on these guys. But what kind of choices is that spy going to make that's going to roll with the game? That's what I'm wondering. How are they going to impact the players? Or if they even want the spy to do that? She's been doing a very good job of hiding herself so far, but I do imagine they might find out that there's something a little bit strange about this girl. Might be a bit too uh, moe <laughs> for this kind of situation. Violence. That's good to know. So they can't actually move. But well, can the hiders move themselves? It said they can't move the hider. But they should be able to move themselves, right? Oh no, they can't. Interesting. They just lose. That's that's a bit harsh. Yeah, I know, right? Got to pick somewhere good right off the bat, then. Instant loss. But, but they might not be able to find out about a few things, so. Although it might give a few things away in how they're tracking you. As this is probably the extent to how much they can track you, I imagine. Okay. Yeah, it seems like you'd probably want to keep that down if you're hiding. Although then again, you might want to call your partner if the people are near you and you want them to, you want a distraction or something maybe. And there's plenty of stuff you can do with this. Still not at. 
mean food. Ah, ah, oh, interesting. But what about the hider? <laughs> they, they've got to go hiding, haven't they? Ah, I see. So uh, they can get the food. Wow, that makes it a bit obvious then, right? Wow, that adds a, a level of even more difficulty to, for these guys, doesn't it? Because they need food. Surrender. And you can only do that if you're the hider. I guess. There. And it's a grenade. Let's just hope that doesn't actually fucking blow up. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. But yeah, that could get to the stage where it's just unwinnable for either team. And everyone just dies. That would happen a lot. He did, but I, I still don't understand it that well. There was a lot of rules went over last episode. As well as a big kind of shift from like the 72 hours in the complete darkness to the uh, to the new game. Should be an interesting start today though, again, especially with that food situation. They've definitely added a lot of outside elements to this, haven't they? Not sure they really needed to. Almost. It seems like... Wait, I thought Yuichi was hiding. Oh, I guess Tenji's hiding then. My bad. Pretty obvious place right here, right? The only open space in a big rock. <laughs> Amazing how far we came from the episode before last week, where Tenji was getting absolutely called out and ridiculed by Yuichi. Almost seemed like, and now they're, I wouldn't quite say best buddies, but they're going to be a decent team. Of course, again, they got so, a, a lot in common, so. But yeah, in my opinion, this hiding spot is fucking awful. <laughs> it depends on how big this place is. But after that. Two days? Not even with food. <laughs> oh my god. We're really skipping two days now? Oh my god. Yeah, so it is massive. So maybe I was wrong a little bit there. Maybe this is a better spot than I thought. Wow, that was a big hole. You're not going to tell me we're just going to skip right to the end of this game, are we? That would suck. In two days. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this is the kind of mind games, especially that they they were stuck in darkness and not eating, and then to give them water for seventy two hours that makes it even worse, doesn't it? It wouldn't be undeserved, but again, I don't think so. I think he's genuinely just playing the game, isn't he? 
think the obvious tactic would be waiting for one of the partners of the hider to get them food and then follow them there. Oh, don't do that, man. Yeah, he'll overreact right now. But again, it's understandable with the conditions he's been given. It's quite unfair that they, uh, they treated these groups completely differently going into it. And again, when has this game been fair? Is his phone off, do you reckon? That's oh, ringing. No answer, though. <laughs> I mean, it's not like he's busy doing much else, I imagine. <laughs> but he was eating the phone. Oh, he's calling back. Checking is actually going to be him on the other end. Yeah, someone else. <laughs> what a face. Calling from Yuichi's phone. Well, of course, an enemy team player would say this, right? Or maybe he's actually just told these guys he might be doing this. Or maybe he is actually betraying him. Who fuck knows at this point? Wow, that must be horrible to hear. Okay, nice. So he's just got to keep trusting. Maybe. I think anyone would be smart enough to press that button before they die though, right? <laughs> Dude's really looking like a zombie. But yeah, this is this is tough, man. Mentally, this is tough. But I like the fact that he's trusting in him. I think it's the right thing to do, isn't it? Was he bluffing as well, though? It looks like it. So yeah, they are just chilling. What the hell? What's going on there? So yeah, I think I was right. I think this guy is... Yeah, yeah. I think this guy is the genius, isn't he? This guy looks like a cherry. Or maybe it's this guy. He's got that type of voice actor. <laughs> maybe this guy's just the captain. Maybe he's not the genius. Goes without saying. Good 
Good question. It did look fucking massive when you got that far shot of it today. I wasn't expecting it to be that big from last episode, but again, we never really got a shot. Yes, that is the biggest thing that I gained from that, the food. Is, otherwise, again, you'll just die. Oh dear, what is this? Ah, they're gonna cut, are they? <laughs> nice. Wow. <laughs> and they do a, uh, a special girl pose at the end. That's just a little bit cringe. A little bit too much. But I guess, yeah, I guess it's a display of their um, togetherness. I agree. <laughs> yeah, I guess that is a little bit of a difference between them and the other group. Ah, that would make sense, actually. That would make sense. I don't believe that guy is anything below 30 years of age, to be honest with you, that one in the suit. That's already been two. But it is that third day now? Yeah, he is holding on to it. Yes, that is the biggest part of this game. So always be with a member of the opposite team. That seems to be what's happening, isn't it? Although I'm still quite interested to see why Yuchi and that girl are just sitting by the food. Maybe they have the same idea, but I have a feeling that they've got a slightly different idea. One that maybe incorporates the original idea why I, why I mentioned is that seems obvious, if you know what I'm saying. And we know Yuichi's uh, brain power. Or die. What happens if he dies? <laughs> Is it just an auto win for Yuichi? Because they they will win. <laughs> no one will ever find him. Did it explain what happens if they die? <laughs> I think it did, did it? Yeah. He already had 72 hours without food, now he's got another 72 hours without food. I guess if he wanted to lose some weight beforehand, he's, uh, he's 
had the opportunity now, I guess. But there's a load of nutrients and probably a lot of other stuff. A lot of brain capacity, I imagine. Brain cells. Oh, oh he's here. Nice. Let's just hope he hasn't been followed. Oh, is this an illusion? <laughs> oh no, it's true. It's happening. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if this was an illusion. Oh, <laughs> so it's an illusion. <laughs> I mean, if it keeps him going, it keeps him going. So let's let him fucking hallucinate. They're just doing nothing. Still. That girl doesn't seem too happy. Probably isn't going as she expected. Wow. Interesting. So he's given them information. Specific information, I imagine. And yeah, she's just being sus. Crazy asshole. <laughs> he has. He has. As soon as he sat down there, something started, didn't it? <laughs> Are you sure that's not a boob? <laughs> Oh god. That really is an arsehole. Say dead. Is he? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, a psychopath wouldn't really be able to tell any difference. That would almost be the definition of a psychopath, wouldn't it? Oh wow, that was uh, yeah, certainly interesting. We uh, we didn't really see too much of the game, did we? It's just been it's been three days already, which is a lot of the game gone. But um, obviously, it's because not much has happened. They've just been hiding. But, um, now is the time for him to switch. Now is the time. After three days, after Tenji starts hallucinating, which he might have accounted for. Maybe there is a specific time span when people do reach these kind of limits. Again, you can't ever really put anything like that past Yuichi at this point, can you? Like, knowing stuff like that. And again, you've just got to take his every action as something very specific and something important to a part of his plan. So, um, yeah, it should be a lot to look out for next episode. But again, I almost feel a bit bad for Tenji, even though, again, it's almost deserved after what, what's been kind of exposed. Still, that's a pretty brutal thing to see anyone go through, isn't it? I wonder how their hider's doing. That's what I, I want to see. We haven't actually seen their hider at all in his spot. Okay, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, awesome episode today. Um, not i thought we would have been seeing much more of the um much more of the hide and seek but um there were again some added kind of in information some very big kind of additional parts to this game that w wasn't mentioned in the in last episode wasn't there again mo the most important one being the food and uh, the kind of resources that um, people will need to bring to the hider which Yuichi, Yuichi, uh, Yuichi hasn't uh, hasn't taken into account <laughs> at all. Um, seems like again he's been putting on this kind of act and been given information about his group, which I imagine again is probably very specific and um, stuff that he wants. There might might be lies, but probably the truth about some of his uh, friends, but um, only specific parts. And I imagine some of the worst parts about them, um, or could be some of the best, but just to give them a, an image of uh, who these people are and what their kind of tendencies would be, I imagine, and then uh, use that against them at some point. Um, again, I've, I have got to imagine he's not going to be switching sides, and I think he will be uh, be on Tenji's side in the end. But 
it would be very interesting to see him just after three days after te- torturing Tenji just, just switch sides and then expose him and say yeah there he is um, I think the crueler thing to do would again be just be to let him die um, I'm, I'm not sure about the rules about how that goes through or what happens in that case but again it'll be interesting to see um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this episode down in the comment section again awesome episode uh, again um, leave a like on the video if you guys did like the video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions I should be back next week with uh, is it episode 9 now? Yeah, episode 9. So uh, hopefully you join me for that one. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.